after I lost my leg, I was in the hospital bed and I saw snowboarding on TV, never even knew what it was. And then um, a charity called Plesma sent me on a snowboard trip and uh, kind of just never stopped snowboarding really. And I still have the same love for it as I did then as I do today. And I just want to keep getting better and keep enjoying it. And I think that's just, that attitude has got me to where I am. You know, I just want to be better all the time. To sort of go from where I started five years ago, just snowboarding around to now being selected for the team is pretty cool. The fact that we're the first British snowboard team going, that's really cool as well, you know, to kind of represent the country, but also be the first guys to ever do it. That's wicked. First couple of seasons, I sort of top eight results, top 10 results. And then um, last season, I managed to get silver at the World Champs, which was a big, big surprise to me because it was kind of come out of nowhere, really. All of a sudden, I learned how to snowboard quite well. And then um, this season, I've had, and I've got a few more medals that season. This season, I've already I've got a third at Finland, so it's exciting times. Definitely don't go there going, oh, I've done it here, can I do it there? Because every single race is different, every single day snowboarding is different. You know, you just don't know what's going to happen. You can't predict anything. So, yeah, I'm going to just go there. I'm going to snowboard as much as I can before I get there, be in the best mental state of mind, you know, and go there and then just enjoy the experience, you know, because that's why I snowboard. You know, I don't snowboard for results and for medals and all that. I snowboard because I love it. So and that's, that's what I want to keep doing throughout my whole career.